in case you're wondering what you're looking at right here this is what we call the legless lizard or in some cases the two-headed snake but there's just more to that name than what you think <laughs> lizard and the guy you found it was AJ here yeah, AJ. AJ yeah. and family AJ and family yeah all right great AJ and family but in time clean the place you would not find it oh, uh, <laughs> yes um what's the exact name of this location right now uh, low to trace yeah, low to, low to right. right so this legless lizard or what we call a two-headed snake uh, was retrieved from low to Avenue in Macbean, Coover, um, by Mr. A.J. Lautu, who found it in his yard. And a lot of people have a lot of theories and questions and myths about this legless lizard. Um, so we're going to just briefly give you all a profile of it. And let's hear a little bit more details from Tarek. All right, so this is one of the two species of legless lizards that you can find in Trinidad. This is the Amphisbina fuliginosa, the other being Amphisbina alba, and they both look like this, and the only difference is the color. Here you can see it's black and white, in a sort of blotchy stripe pattern. The ornate is also similar, mm -hmm. and the other species is brown. Mm -hmm. and they feed on small insects and worms. It's a unique species because it looks like a snake, mm -hmm. but it's actually a lizard right. without legs. So, Tarek, this, this idea that people have of um, having two heads, you could probably explain a little bit in detail about that. Yeah, I can show you what they do. Mm -hmm. Let's see. All right. When they feel threatened, mm -hmm. they'd usually raise up their tail. Right. You can get a closer look at the tail. It feels different than the rest of the body. Right. And they can raise it up like this. Right. It looks like it's moving kind of independently there, boy. Yeah. And they can wiggle it around mm -hmm. to make a predator think that that's the, that's the head. So oh. it would go after the tail. All right. It's a cool defense mechanism there. And then the head would start borrowing. They All spend right. most of their life in leaf litter, dirt, mm -hmm. anywhere they can borrow to find food. Right, the skin looks like it's a bit loose and moves like it's an accordion type movement there. Right, so the crew came up uh, with the name Oreo. I think that's a real fitting name for this, like this lizard, just judging from the colors here. And Tarek. We want to kind of get an average of the length of this specimen here. Uh, how much do you think um, you would woke up to? Alright, so with the ruler being 12 inches, mm -hmm. him being just probably about an inch more, I'd yeah. say 13 inches on average, maybe a little little more. Um, so what's the, what's the full grown or, or the recorded full grown length of these legless lizards? Well, it would be double the size of this one, right. being about... 27 inches long. 27. Yeah. Right. Um, again, well, you know, in Trinidad, a lot of people um, sometimes mistake this one. I've heard the name of it being called uh, the black and white coral. So I guess people may presume that it's poisonous. Is this, well, sorry, not poisonous, but venomous. Is this um, well, true? Well, that name gives this animal a bad reputation, and often this animal ends up being killed from it. Mm -hmm. because mistaken for a coral snake and it isn't a snake and it isn't venomous it's not it's not part of the venomous animals of Trinidad the snakes right well I guess um, you could probably give the audience some advice if you if you do come across this like this lizard all right so I would not advise anyone to attempt to handle these mm -hmm. 
mm-hmm. because they can bite and it it will hit these pinch down very hard mm-hmm. if it is the animal is under a threat like in this case there was a cat attempting to eat it right you can try and secure it mm-hmm. try not to use your hands or use a glove right. and then give us a call to relocate it right well thanks um Tarek, but one last thing um this being a legless lizard yeah right um we all know that it borrows in the soil mm-hmm. right um is there any predators um to this specimen of Actually, legless lizards one of the primary predators would be the large coral snake oh because you can find these in the same areas you'll find the coral snake and the coral snake is a is cannibalistic mm-hmm. and feeds on other snakes all right very good information there oh and uh, we heard it's of viparous is that's the word that's the word I, I believe it lays eggs yes all right so just for those who wanted to know how they reproduce all right well we must say thanks to mr aj lautu of macbean um, for finding Mr. Oreo here for us to do this this profiling and you guys could stay tuned for the release of of him sometime um soon we promise and again it's a protected species so try your best not to cause any harm to it and leave it let it move let 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 it go on its own all right so thanks again everybody for viewing over and out.